uh, we live? Did uh, the title net got up, not get updated? A Veldak, good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just double check the title is correct. The title is correct. Seems good. Okay. We live, indeed. Uh, excuse me. So, I've done a couple of things off stream. We are currently on our way back to Calidus, uh, from Capellus, and I did a little bit of, uh, I did a little bit of, what's it called again? Targeted zone discovery. We ran out of coal entirely. Um, so all of our coal is coming from coal mining at the moment. And while at a certain scale, uh, 11,000 coal per minute uh, is a lot, it's not cutting it for our current base. So I did some searching. Um, I found a couple of candidates. One of them's actually in our system that we're already going to for Beryl. Uh, Angelus. Unfortunately, it has a hundred percent biter threat and waterless, so we won't be doing that. But luckily, right after that, the next one I found, uh, Deadwood, right here. Uh, turns out it's basically the same planet, except for the waterless part and except for the biters. Almost the exact same distance away. Um, Coal core fragments, about the same size. Just no biters, and we can we can run nuclear plant. Uh, so I came over here, copy pasted some stuff. Uh, only made one mistake this time. Uh, I, I need to add to the things that we request for the outposter. We need to bring some rail, uh, maybe some more storage tanks, and. Uh, some locomotive. Um, because more often than not, we have to travel a bit to get enough crude oil to consistently make the uh, liquid rocket fuel. I opened channel about two seconds before you started. Nice. Whiskers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice score. Score. What's our score? Uh, what's our high score for asteroid kills? Four hundred, uh, four million so far. <laughs> okay. The new Bidalus planet, indeed. Just what we need. Uh, so now, pretty much all we have to do is spam a few more spaceships uh, to get a good flow of coal. I also haven't made a coal core fragment processing block just yet, although that'll just be a copy and paste job. Uh, as for some of the design work that I did off stream, uh, I need to put the... I need to pick up the tier 6 modules from Orbit, and we don't have quite enough just yet. Uh, so for now, I've set these blocks as a low priority uh, drop-off, and we've got the old ones still in place. Um, but I built a couple of blocks for Iridium Powder and Holmium Powder, which are exactly the same, just with different recipes. Um, with the Prod 6 modules, we've got very nice ratios here, just barely positive between, uh, three to four machines here, and then a few, uh, bead machines, and then finally the powder. Uh, once again, I've embraced the direct swapping method. 
uh, in order to recycle certain products. It's probably more UPS friendly now that I think about it as well. But basically we have a chest between the machines so that we can measure how much we've got. We've got filtered output here for the, uh, the items that need to be recycled. And then we just read the chest and then set filters blacklist on the opposite machine uh, for the inserter that takes from the belt. So right now we've got beads in this chest, so this one will not pick up beads. Um, very simple, very effective. And it's rather a neat, uh, tileable system. We don't need like a filter belt going way back up here, which is great because we've already got to filter the outputs. Um, other than the stuff that we recycle. Rewunx, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so... So the recycled items get swapped directly back and forth between these machines. Uh, the sand just filters out at the end and goes over to a different pickup station. Stone is going to use the same pickup station that's a output, that's a side product from the washed iridite recipe up here. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a pretty neat build. Uh, Holmenite and Naquatite powder uh, is a little bit different. In fact, I might even, I don't know if I'll end up using the build that I made for Naquatite because uh, I basically put what I can fit in here with a good ratio. And then after, you know, running, uh, after doing everything and testing it all and everything in uh, editor extensions with an infinite train carriage here, providing the resources, uh, one more rate calculation and then I, well, not rate calculation, I finally noticed, oh, uh, Naquatite stack size is only 10. Um, so while this build is valid on paper, um, it's going to be very, very, very difficult for trains to keep up with this thing. I actually calculated a train would have to arrive with Naquatite every 12.82 seconds to support this block. So... What I probably will do when we get to that is just build like a half or a quarter of this. Uh, and also, um, I'm going to build this right next to the drop-off that's going to drop off Naquatite. And I'm going to just extend the Robo Network a bit and have it put the Naquatite directly into those chests. Um, so it's just going to bottleneck on the ships themselves. We're not going to involve trains for that one resource. And um, we can just remove some machines and add them back later if we ever really, really scale up our throughput. I also did a wide area beacon redesign for uh, this block, just the vanilla core fragments. Um, it, I should probably, I should probably prioritize that for getting the tier six modules going, right? Because that's going to mean more of everything, except for the exotic materials. Um, but fewer machines, uh, we've got the maximum that can fit around a tier 2 beacon, I think. Uh, two beacons. And then we have to dedicate a lot of space to input and output to keep up with that. Got some sushi, well, it's a bit hard to see at this range, I'll build it soon. Um, but basically, once again, we've got some sushi and filter inserters to put stuff in. 
uh, instead of having four products on this side and two products on this side, I've set it up so that we've got a couple of stations where we just put four products in. Uh, no, five products in. And the uranium goes to a separate station. Uh, the only reason we need to do this uh, is because the filter inserters can only fit five filters. Um, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but there is more than enough room to pull that off with this block. Uh, and finally, I redesigned oil. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks producing oil, right? Nine, ten, not counting coal liquefaction, which I think I switched off for now. Um... We've actually got 10 blocks with the current design producing oil products. Uh, that's a bit much. It's definitely time to upgrade the modules and beacons for these and have fewer machines. So, uh, so this is what I came up with. It's a little hard to see in the dark. We'll get back down to it soon. But basically, uh, it's... Parts of it are a little bit of a spaghetti mess, but that's because I've managed to fit absolutely everything around two beacons. Pretty satisfied with that, to be honest. How far out are we? 13 minutes in-game. So more like 26 before we get back. Um, oops, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a pyramid here. Okay, well, I guess I won't delete surface just yet. I'll head back there at some point and collect whatever's in here. Uh, we also got a pyramid on Deadwood, and there's also one on Berkey. Well, that's two pyramids I need to go collect, but I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, we got a tier 9 productivity module from this one. Well, you've been busy? Yeah, but I've just been, like, just been, like, upgrading things and adding uh, an outpost. Uh, I haven't been, like, I haven't been doing any new science builds or anything like that. Uh, no progression, just, uh, just, like, pushing bottlenecks around and fishing, uh, fixing things and stuff. New planet, indeed. Costco Taquitos, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, just for the hell of it, I did scan the whole thing. So, here's our planet. I am gonna trim it, though. That is a pretty big body of water. But we've got plenty of room here. Um, this is one of our new nuclear plants, which I should redesign a little bit, but I'm lazy. Um, we don't always get enough heat going to the heat exchangers at the outside uh, to keep up. Hey, Mucky! Thank you very much for the nine months. Wow. Uh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. How you been, by the way? Uh, dropped into your stream occasionally, but I've been raiding some other people a bit lately. You have a Twitch baby? <laughs> oh my god. Pretty good, you? Yeah, not too bad. A little sick at the moment, but not so much that I didn't want to... I mean, I wanted to stream anyway, but, you know, I think I can probably manage half a day today. Um, so yeah, that's our new outpost. Uh, we've really gotten to the point where this is largely just a copy-paste edit kind of job. Um, I particularly like this layout that we started on, uh, what was it? Orchard? The copper core planet. Um, remains to be seen if I'll 
how many more spaceships I'll have to add here. What are we getting? 88 core fragments, 89 core fragments per second. We're almost saturating these belts, uh, in theory, but in practice we're not getting that much energy. Wait, I thought I saw the nuclear plant not trying very hard. So what's going on? The nuclear plant is really not trying very hard right now. Uh, because the coal miners have stopped. Maybe I should just set this to... Greater than 90% or something. Especially since we're not dealing with the ebb and flow of solar power very much. Um, so I'll copy that over here. Yo all, it's Friday. Hughes Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so 90 core fragments per second. I wonder how many ships we need. It's not like we can make a precise calculation for this, is it? I'll just double check all of our ships are still moving since we had that problem before, although I did fix it. Okay, I see lasers going, That that's good. Left side didn't take? Left side didn't take. For the core miners? Uh... No, it did. But something's weird. Oh, this accumulator specific. Oh, is it? No? This pylon substation doesn't cover these two accumulators. So it's not throwing it off with a different power network. I'm sure... Hmm. Maybe I need to come up with a different power management system for these. How many do we have? Uh, 28 times 50 megawatt is only 1400. I think we can just... I think we can just let her rip, honestly, with this one. I, actually, let me set it to something like greater than 10%, which which should be the same thing if we've got enough power to support this. Um, because we're primarily using nuclear power here. Let them loose, indeed. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so that's our coal ore fragments flowing again. Uh, how much are we getting from Morpheus? I'm looking at Morpheus because it's almost the exact same distance away. 63 core fragments per second, and we've got, uh, I think 10 ships, which might be overkill. We've got, uh, seven, eight. Okay. I could set up a complicated circuit to... Actually, I don't know how I would do that yet. I would like to set some kind of... Okay, the simple version would be set some kind of alarm to say we've reached our limit for barrel core fragments here and a ship isn't picking them up. But what would be even better is if we could have a system that records like historically when that has happened. I guess we do have the production screen. Core fragment barrel. 
I do see a dip here. That might be... When this... Whoa. Okay, that part was definitely when the spaceships weren't moving. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I think these dips would be when the storage was completely full. Um, so these little dips here are probably nothing to concern ourselves with, I suppose. Um, so yeah, we're producing less, uh, core fragments from here, about the same distance. We've got eight ships, and we're keeping up with that just fine. Uh, Deadwood, I've made six ships so far. That might be enough. I kind of want to find out, to be honest. Okay. Uh, we're actually getting close to getting back home already. Nine minutes thirty remaining. Fantastic. What should we do... I think the obvious thing to do for now, unless I want to go to the trouble of... I, I guess I could. Um, I don't feel like it. I could organize delivery of tier 6 modules to the mall. I probably should set up a shuttle or something for that. But for now, especially considering how slowly we're producing them, it seems okay to just... Um... Oh, hello. This is completely full. We've got 500 rod 6s here. Um... Do we have a bunch in this network? I don't see any. What about... There must be some in the mall. 54 productivity sixes in the mall. Alright, this is actually going pretty well. How many are we requesting here? Um, 2.4k? Alright, that's fine. I think we should do some... some orbital science design while we wait to get home. What's going on here? We've got dropped cargo, and apparently we don't have any construction bots. Probably because this hasn't been switched on. So, we should get a delivery of construction bots to this block fairly soon. Um, I don't know how the logistic bots got here. If, if we don't have bots being delivered here at all. Maybe I copy... I don't know. Maybe I copy-pasted some settings later on. Okay. Uh, let's check in on, I think it was material science. We've done ballistic shielding data. We had to make a ridiculous amount of ammo to keep up with what is going on here. Are you trying to leave? No. Uh, did I... I forgot. I, I, I just forgot to tell LTN what we've got in these chests. And because the rate of consumption was so fast, it took a long time to find out. Alright, back to the depot with you. And... Back to the depot with you. We are requesting 128k, 48 times 100, times 4, 8, 16, 32 chests, 153,000, so we shouldn't even come close to overfilling this. Except, of course, we already had trains queuing up. Um, yeah, we'll just send them back for now. 
Okay, so we have ballistic. Uh, I believe we have friction data. What's up here? Something is stuck. Uh, yes it is. How many products did we make here? 4,000? About 4,000 for each. And 5,400 here. This is probably stuck as well. Yeah, the data can't get down here because there's no room for the uh, bearings. Okay, I'll revisit that one in person. Um, so we've got one, two, radiation shielding and explosion shielding. I think we did those. Did we get this actually finished? Okay, that looks good, but is it broken? Scrap output. Scrap output isn't happening. Why? I think it's actually just a lack of explosives. This is what caused us to run out of coal. Or at least this is what finished the job of making us run out of coal. So because we're balanced unloading the scrap, this one isn't going to continue until this one continues, for example. Um, so we need more explosives for that. Uh, as for radiation shielding data, we're just, we just don't have material testing packs. That's kind of weird. Material testing pack. Is it a, just a lack of supply? I see... Just a couple of machines working. What's going on here? We've got... We've got lots of material testing packs. What's happening? I think I must have set the request uh, from the LTN train for material testing packs wrong here. So how many did I ask for? 12,000? And we've currently got... 10,000 in the logistic system. It's not enough to fill up these two uh, shuttles. So let's do the math. Uh, 7,680 should be 16 times 48 times 10. 7680. Um, and I want double that to be the absolute limit uh, of what we allow here, 15,360, that one's correct, so we should just be requesting more of these I guess. Uh, reading from these chests, though. We're not reading the logistic network. Yeah, we've got a signal of zero material testing packs. Go. Okay, okay. So this is actually all set up correctly. I think I just need to allow way more trains to drop this stuff off. Alright, that's fine. So, barring a couple of minor problems, we've actually got all four of our tier three um, cards. Oh, that's tier four. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three and four are missing because there's just not enough yet. We've got 5k radiation and 6.4k explosion. All right, then. Um, oh, that's right. This is the last thing I was doing on stream. Um, 
I noticed a couple of belts missing here, but that's no big deal until we get the uh, tier 4. Uh, we need better computers to be able to take advantage of the next tier of recipe here. Um, but we've arranged, we've built some blocks to centrally create uh, insights. And now we need to, now we need to take advantage of them with Universal Simulation. So the obvious place to build that is right next to these two blocks. I kind of want to build it down here, to be honest. Um, so let's bring our scaffolding spiders down this way. Overclock, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And we'll drop a block here. I should update that to not include the old rail signals. And we should also bring our construction spiders over. I don't remember what they were here fix. Oh, they were building. Yeah, this is just adding for four more types of fluid. Uh, I don't know if the construction spiders particularly need to go back to the mall to resupply, but I'll do it anyway. I think this train may be stuck. What is it looking for? Testing packs. We got too many testing packs uh, stuck in the mall somehow. 160 times 10 is 1600 testing packs go in a train. Negative 1601, plus what's in these uh, steel chests, is going to give us negative 1 as a result. And that is going to trigger our latch here to switch over to... Wow, that was quick. Uh, switch over to loading this train. Cool. I wonder if this is enough. Oh, we've got it under the speed beacons, actually. Crafting speed plus 7.85. And it still takes this long to make one nuclear fuel. Well, they probably won't be consumed that fast anyway. I could do an upgrade plan here. Um, I might just get rid of all of these. Just because I've lost track of what everything is. And we need a radiation facility. Tier 6 speed modules. Go. Fantastic. 24 megawatts. Wow. Well, it's fine. We're in orbit. It's easy to get power. Actually, how much does a tier 2? 3.7 megawatts. So it's like... Uh... Oops. It's 7 solar panels. To support that one machine. And then some. Uh, I decided to export heavy oil back down to Nalvis. Um, because we keep backing up on it up here. I think I've set this drop off as the as a negative priority, uh, like the lowest possible priority. And nonetheless, here we have our heavy oil. I should probably set this heavy oil pickup as a high priority as well. Priority 1k. That's something I may not have actually thought of um, in the oil redesign. We could definitely fit it pretty easily. We could just add it in here. Um, we'll just add some rail down here, put a drop off for heavy oil. We'll have to have um, 
network IDs here so that trains don't pick up heavy oil from this station to deliver it to this station. Um, but that's no problem. We're just two minutes out from Nalvis Orbit. Fantastic. Alright, so what is our new block going to look like? We're doing Universal Simulation. So we're going to have rows of computers. Uh, we need four inputs for each of them. So I think we're very likely just going to copy-paste this again. Um, it's not like we're going to make a better layout for this. The I accidentally looked ahead, uh, and the tier 3 wide area... Uh, the next tier of wide area beacons actually covers the exact same shape. So... Uh, we're not doing much better than this. I could, of course, try and squeeze in more here. It wouldn't be as efficient for the beacon usage, and it'd also be a pain to squeeze in the pipes and everything. So I think we'll probably just copy-paste this layout again. Uh, I'm guessing... Actually, let's check the... Let's check the fluids. Universal simulation. Yeah, it's negative 273 degree thermofluid in and 25 out again. Um, we will have to make quantum supercomputers to do this. Which I think we were a bit behind on. Uh, technically we have everything we need. Super computer. We've got the quantum supercomputers yet. Uh, where's the prerequisite for it? Quantum processors... I think we're requesting them to be built here, but... Um, they're just... Getting pushed out of the queue at the moment, because there's a surprising amount of stuff being requested. Oh, Holmium Cable just arrived. Uh, I was just about to talk about how... As much as we've built these to make the powder, and the Omni Smelters can deal with making the ingots, uh, I haven't actually built a block to make Holmium products just yet, a new one. And considering that's bottlenecking our blue circuits, I should probably hurry up and get on that. Um, we've already got... I wonder if I can copy this layout, actually. We've got ingots going into plate, going into holes, which are also used to make aeroframe scaffold. Whereas with Holmium, we have uh, ingots going into plate, which also goes into solenoids, but we need plastic as well. For the cable step. One, two, three output products here. One, two, three output products here. There's plenty of room to add a plastic drop-off though. I think we should just copy this. Oh wait, this is using old beacons. I wonder how well we could fit the new ones in. That's looking surprisingly good, actually. That covers everything on the right side. And then this one? We could probably move this or its equivalent. Yeah, we're doing this. Uh, we've actually got a fresh block right here. But all of the ingots are going to come from the Omni Smelters now. So I think... I think we'll build it down here instead. I 
Okay, step one. I'm gonna copy paste this. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, how many input stations do we have? Just the one? For now? Alright, so I'm going to switch this off, copy-paste, and then switch this back on. And then I don't have to worry about waiting until that constant combinator is built for quickly... Um, quickly switching it off or changing it. I'll just get the construction spiders to visit the mall just in case, and I'll send them over here. Uh, we're going to need... We're going to need a 90 per second. Well, maybe not 90 per second, but we can fit 90 per second. Uh, this will be a drop-off for plastic. And we'll see how we go over configuring that one. We're back at Nava's orbit. Fantastic. Uh, I sort of didn't bring the Spidertron back with me intentionally because I forgot to take one to turn into a uh, construction Spidertron that would stay here. So I made it. Um, I made the spider that I was carrying. Uh, the regional director for this uh, planet. Let's trim the surface. That is a moderately sized planet. It might take a moment. And And go. Deleted 71,000 chunks. Fantastic. That's a fairly small area to keep. Especially considering we've got, uh, what is it? 17, uh, plus 12, plus, uh, 6 pump jacks to support all this. Take the scissors and cut some off, indeed. Darkfire Phoenix, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I had another spider that was configured for... Configured to be a speedy spider. But I don't remember if I left it in orbit or on Nalvis. I think it's on Nalvis. I think I'll make another one up here. Off we go. Maybe I should make that a buffer chest. So the bots would supply me. Nah, it's fine. Uh, I could probably use more jetpack. Whoops. Rip battery charge. Okay. We have spiders here. Um, I want the maximum number of exoskeleton legs, therefore we're using some solar panels. Throw in some batteries, we're not going to need any shielding. And that's it. Well, let's fix its name, shall we? Speedy Spider. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, what are you looking for? Testing packs. How did we get so many testing packs stuck in the mall? Spider-Man, indeed. Uh, Rewants. So where am I... Oh, that's right. I had to fix the stuck thing, and I would prefer to do it directly. 
So let's head over there. And while I'm in motion, uh, we'll do a couple of drop-off stations. Change those to chain signals. Ever since figuring that out this little thing, um, the explanation for how rail signals work has actually become a lot more simple. Only Reva? Okay. Uh, so, all you need to remember with rail signals, um, once, as long as you understand, like, this lets the train go this way, this lets the train go this way, is put chain signals everywhere, except when you want a train to be able to stop somewhere on the way to its destination, like this block here. Because wherever you put um, wherever you put train stations, the train that's coming to stop at this station will be allowed to stop in this block, but other trains won't. So right here, this rail signal, regular rail signal, allows a train to stop in this block. Something like that, any kind of stacker. That's where you want regular chain signals. Literally everywhere else you can just use... Ch uh, sorry, that's where you want regular signals. Literally everywhere else just use chain signals. Oh, that's right. We were going to copy-paste this layout, weren't we? I'll turn off the input stations. Except for... Uh, the fluid. Copy paste this down here. Except we need, um, we need better computers. Okay. So how should I refactor this part so the bearings don't get stuck? Maybe the most obvious and easy and I'm not entirely sure it will work way um, is just to read more of the belt. So if there's any... Uh, Actually, we don't even need to do it there, I don't think. Uh, if there's any bearings detected... ...here... ...then we're not going to output bearings from the chests. Let's try... ...picking up a few of these and seeing how much of a difference it makes. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And pick up some bearings. Is this part still stuck? No, I think it's fine. We're not outputting scrap here right now. Okay. This is the only one that doesn't have scrap, and this is the only one that doesn't have a testing pack in. So, lack of testing packs is actually our problem on this side. Okay, might take a minute to see how that goes. Um, I'll just put these back in here. And let's head on down to our new build. Um, I'll just remove the recipes for now. And we're going... I can't set the recipe until we upgrade these computers. And just to double check... Universal. 
it needs a quantum supercomputer, which is the next tier up, which is what we're currently trying to make. And then... We just need one of each type of insight. Very straightforward. So let's set this to whichever comes first. Um, Astro Insight. Bio Insight. Uh, Energy Insight. And Material Insight. Don't forget to switch these over. If there's no Astro on the belt or in the inserter's hands, you can output Astro. Uh, it might be easier if I switch these over first. And then when I go to change this one, it's going to be on the same page. Energy. And... Material. Fantastic. Uh, and I might just temporarily drop that rail so that I can just paste that whole thing over here without it snapping one tile off. What do these things stack to? 50? 50. I'm going to take a wild guess and suppose that they all stack to 50. Uh, insight. Look at it here. Let's see. 50, 50, 50. And 50. Fantastic. One off, indeed. Alright, so we're going to request 16k, two train loads of each of these. That was supposed to be glass. Not that it matters. Uh, and we'll allow four trains at a time to come in, I suppose. Station name. One, two, three, and four. Uh, switch that on, actually. So we can at least accumulate uh, insight while we're waiting to get our universal simulation going. Can this train get here yet? No, it cannot. Let's get our spiders down here. And once the train gets here, I'll be able to change the train stop name. Okay, uh, and this is going to be significant data. Oh, it also outputs blank data codes. Uh, okay, we'll have to filter those out. These will be blank. And then... Well, uh, I can't check the rate for the whole thing yet. Well, we're going to have plenty of room to add more belts if we need to. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to block these outputs until we can find out what that rate is going to look like. Uh, significant data provider. Fantastic. Okay, and this will be blank data cards and 25 degree thermofluid. And that's actually my priority to pick up both of those. 
Actually, actually, I should do it like that. Hey, Sigma B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's check in on our production of... Uh... Not the supercomputers themselves, but the prerequisites. We need Holmy and Plate. That's weird. Uh, quantum processor... That's the wrong thing that I'm searching. Yeah, we don't have any yet. Alright, so this was going to be Holmy and Plate, wasn't it? Beryllium ingot, stack size 100. Um, the, um, ingot, stack size 50, uh, probably going to be consuming these kind of slowly, right? Let's just say two train loads for starters, we'll see what it looks like when we change the beacons. And we're going to go for... A wide area right about here. I'll just do tier threes for the moment. Um, wide area beacon. I think four speed gives us the maximum efficiency still or something close to it. If the bots feel like putting those in, there we go. What? What? What are you? They've got the be the modules. They're just being very strange. There we go. Okay, what do we got? Negative seventy percent power consumption. Perfect. Okay, so we're looking at 33 beryllium plate per second from the whole thing. That's not that much. So that'll give us room to upgrade it later with higher tier modules. Um, I might move this underground? Maybe? I want to fit the whole thing. Oh. If I just move this over one tile, I can fit all of this under two beacons without making any serious changes. Of course, we won't be wanting the, new, the old beacons as well. Uh, so let's change this to... Wait, did I not... I didn't change it to Holmium yet, did I? Holmium plate. Okay. Now how much are we looking at? 30 per second? That's actually... A little bit slower. We could just put more speed modules in, I suppose. Uh, anyway, I was thinking this would be plastic. And... Uh, so we've got... Holmium cable needs plastic, and... Solenoid needs cable, so what if we put solenoids over here, and this is, this is the output for cable. We have similar rates. 26.4 per second, a little bit more than a belt. Um, 
еще. Don't need any red belts here. I'm sure I only did that because I ran out earlier. So this one is solenoid. This will be cable. Don't need to change the any of the combinator settings for a pickup. This one will be holmium plate. Um and this one is holmium ingot and plastic. What's our rate for ingots? 5.7 per second. Okay, this shape will be just fine. What about plastic? We're looking at only 20 per second. Hmm. I could just use a half belt for the two inputs here. But I'd rather leave room to upgrade it more with, uh, with bigger modules. And we can only go a little bit faster if I use the half belt. We are already getting more than one belt of output. How much does this need for cable? Uh, 40 per second Holmium cable. We actually already can only go a bit faster with this layout. I think this is fine for now. I'll put the plastic in here. And... Since we only need half a belt... Well, I won't do this layout, I don't think. That can leave some gaps. We'll do... Uh, let's do blues. Just a very basic merge here. No, not like that. Lock the right side. Alright, where's the coziest spot to squeeze our plastic through? Maybe here. Uh, Dayman Senpai? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream today? What'd you get up to? Cataclysm, dark days ahead. I don't know if I've even heard of that. What's it like? Let's head over this way. And this way. Should be fine. Okay, so that's our plastic and uh, holmium. I'll just double check these priorities. So it all goes here first, and then it all goes here. So this is our lowest priority for the plate. We've sort of implicitly got a higher priority for outputting cable to the rail network than for making solenoids. I don't know if that's going to be good enough. Like, whether we can saturate it, or um, whether we should put in some kind of circuitry to manage that. 
If these are, well, this should be everything less than or equal to zero. I could... I could solve this with one combinator. If we detect some cable here, then we're... Al if we detect no cable here, then we're not allowed to pick this up. Or I could do the same thing with this better belt. But then that would just make this one a super high priority. I would rather balance it if I can. Except without reading what's in these chests and bringing that value down here. Which is a... I just don't want to bother with that. Um, I don't see how that's going to work. At least without, not without reshaping. I could just put a splitter here. The belt is shaped this way because we need more than one belt to go to this train station. So I don't really want to change that. But I could put a splitter here, I could put a splitter here, and those could go over there. I don't know how necessary it's going to be. We probably, we probably actually have a lot of holmium ingots waiting to be used. Two point one thousand, two thousand. What are they stacked to? Like ten? Uh, they stack to fifty. How did we get just two thousand here? Well, we are making more of it. I should hurry up and get these uh, beacons active. Beware the killer moose. Very complicated, kind of like Dwarf Fortress Advanced mode, but better and the post-apocalyptic. Interesting. Uh, modernized Dwarf Fortress that doesn't Sacrifice too much detail is definitely something I'd be interested in. Alright, why don't we get this thing started? Um, I think we just need to switch this on, actually. Plastic. Two train loads. And this is on... These are pickup stations, so of course those are switched on. Yeah, I think we're good to go here. And we can easily double this. Um, actually, can we? Uh, no, I think we'd have to... Sp we'd have to, like, mirror the whole thing. Which wouldn't be that difficult. Okay, um, I think I will jump in the shuttle. I'll briefly visit the mall on the way back. Did I accidentally remove the symbol for the mall? I did. Let's, uh, let's fix that, shall we? Uh, so I'm going to go back, do a quick resupply if needed. And then we'll head to our shuttle and deliver many productivity modules. Um, we've actually got 500 here. How many do I need? I, I don't think we have enough to upgrade everything that I've already built. Much less some of the things I want to build right now. Um, let's see. What are we looking for here? 9 efficiency and 6 speed. Uh, 9 efficiency and 6 speed.
and then pulverizer, chemical plant, and that's it. Needs to be full of prod sixes. Pulverizer. Um, okay, so we're looking at 350, 1.2k here, uh, 216 here, call that 14 or 15,000, and then... another... 200. Alright, so if we have like 2,000, we should easily have enough. I got left behind. My spider ran off without me. Whoops. Let's also just check there isn't a bottleneck loading the holmium cable into the shuttles. I don't think that's it. Even so, we could definitely invite more trains. Um, I may as well get the spiders to resupply. So this block is going to be... Universal Simulation. I really like, uh, the things like this, the Crafting Combinator mod lets you access these symbols, not just the specific products. Like these, these ones as well, uh, showing that we're going to use the tier 4 recipes here. Alright, our spider has arrived. Let's head back. And for now I'm going to ask for every single uh, productivity module. Probably the same goes for the other two, although we need way more prods than uh, speed or efficiency. Go spider go. I don't suppose we're gonna get any... There's no holmium plate here at all. Have we messed up the supply line? Where are we getting holmium plate from? Here. Wait, what? We've got holmium plate in orbit right now. Are we just not requesting it up here? I don't see it. Okay. Um... It's still good to fix what we're fixing up now with the long-term supply, but uh, that's obviously good in the short term. Did we... I forgot to check if we've got a shuttle for Holmium Plate yet. I don't think so. Uh, we should probably do that. So this is... I'll just check orbit as well to be absolutely sure, but I'm pretty sure we've just got cable and solenoid. There's the solenoid, there's the cable, um, and this one is actually bearing. Uh, so let's make this one holmium plate 
don't think it's taken yet. And that one is going to be number 117. Drop some brick shuttles here. Um, what a mess. Oh, chromium plate stats to a hundred, I think. It does, so 4.8k of that per chest. Oops. Let's copy paste those wires across. Uh, this should be Holmium plate. Fantastic. Set the filters on the train station. 64k Holmium plate. Change the station name. Switch that on. This needs to be 117 for the anchorage signal. And I'll put this here just as a little symbol to remind us what this ship is for. Uh, and last but not least, form a um, plate shuttle number one and number two. And on the orbital side, uh, this is 117 up here. Oh, it's already set as 117. That's good. When hold me in plate equals zero, you can launch again. Uh, we're going to request hold me in plate. in these chests. Looks good. And this is already... If I set the provide stack threshold to like three trains worth to make sure these are full, but we allowed three trains to come and pick up simultaneously. Does that mean it'll schedule three trains, but not until that's full? I wonder. Anyway, I'm going to set the stack threshold to 160 regardless. Oh, and let's make sure this is switched on, which it is. Okay, so we should be able to stop using a uh, cargo rocket for this one. Just have to remember where that cargo rocket is. There it is. Um, I'll just switch this off and we'll defunct this when, when, when we're on the dregs of Holmium Plate. Um, in these chests. Okay. So we should have Holmium Plate here, which means we should be making... I don't see it. We've got 15k Holmium Plate. That means we've spent a thousand or so. We should have our quantum processors. Um, let's make 
some computers. You're not using those cannon things that shoot stuff into space. I am using those. Uh, just not for sending stuff to orbit. You can only uh, you can only send specific resources with the uh, delivery cannons. So you can't send like batteries, for example. Thank you for the follow, Zimmy. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Monkey Wagon. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, yeah, this is the main... Apart from the fact that it uses, like, um, a bunch of resources for every single stack and a, a lot of energy, um, the main drawback from the cannons is you can only send specific resources. We can't use productivity bonuses for scrap, can we? No, these would be productivity bonuses if we could. I, I would be sending all of the scrap back to Nalvis if that was the case. Um, okay, do we have any... We do. We do have ingots coming in. Products finished... Zero? Then why am I seeing a train going back to the... Depot. Oh, it brought plastic. Okay. What about you? You're also bringing plastic. We're only allowed one train at a time. Let's bump that up to two. Uh, how are all of these... How much plastic did I request? Two train loads. There should... There shouldn't be another train bringing plastic, should there? Sixty-seven... Oh! Oh, I see the problem. I forgot to tell LTN what's in these chests up here. We caught it. I could cancel this plastic pickup. In fact, let's do it. Okay. What I really want to see is the Holmium ingots getting delivered. Um, now that I've picked up that stuff, let's go to... Wait. I didn't turn my logistics on. Okay, this might be more efficiency modules than I actually need. Um, let's bump speed and efficiency back down to 500. It's really just the prods I'm concerned about for the most part. Alright, let's head over to our shuttle. And what else can we do? So we've actually sort of, we've actually got a uh, tier three. We've got all the prerequisites for tier three uh, material science. I could have built another one of these here, like the tacky upgrade that we've done before. Um, but I would really like to get it going with universal simulation instead. Um, did I not switch these on? I did not. That's switched on. Uh, there we go. And these ones.
You can't send possibly fragile electronic components and batteries into space via electromagnetic cannon. I am baffled, indeed. It's pretty weird, if you ask me. That is a nice load of productivity sixes. Alright, let's head down to Nalvis. Make sure our automatic go home thing isn't still going to bring us straight back here. And we're just a few seconds away. I, sh I think I'll start by landing down here. It's relative cl relatively close to the mall, and most of the prods we're looking to insert are over here. I might like to upgrade this as well while we're at it. Definitely the speed and efficiency modules. Uh... Where's our ingots? Do we just not have enough in any one of these smelters yet? 2.1k. 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 And... 3.2k. 2.1. 2.2. 2.2. 2.1. So all of the Omni smelters separately have uh, a bit more than a quarter of a train load of ingots right now. It's just going to take a little while before we get there. Let's anchor down here. Let's get our spider back on the scene. Oh, look at those prods go. Already. And somewhat more importantly for the moment, once we get the speed and efficiency modules, but especially the speed modules um, inserted, We'll be looking at a significant increase in throughput for Holmanite. The bots are being kind of weird about dropping in these speed sixes. I'm just being absolutely sure. It's not like we're trying to drop in speed sevens or something. Nope. That's more like it. Let's have a look at our ratios here. Oh no. The train is stuck. Uh, so we've got a slight positive on washed Holmanite. Uh, actually a slight negative on crushed Holmanite? That's weird. Oh, some of the prods are missing. Wait, we already rent. Uh, I know we've got more productivity modules here, actually. Let's drop some logistic bots in. What? What? I thought all the... Oh! They took them from the chests already. Well... I thought we... Wait, what? I thought we had more productivities than this. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't take them all from here. I did. Welp. Uh, we've got a ways to go. But that'll significantly boost our Holmium, Holmium cable, which is going to boost our blue circuits. I'll get it flowing again, more like. Which is going to lead to more modules. Maybe I should um, temporarily put tier 3s in here. Not for the beacons. The beacons can have the tier 6s.
The acceleration would damage if not destroy them, not to mention the magnetic field, indeed. A T Hax in chat. Sheep say meh. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I think I'll um I actually want to make another I think I need to make presets. Let's just go T6 modules for this one. And that's not what I meant to do. I'm going to delete that. Um, I'm going to remove everything. We're going to go chemical plant, pulverizer, and we'll add some more later. That's going to be tier 3. Uh, we're going to call this T3 modules, save, so now we can just, the UI is a little bit awkward the way it kicks me out of the window as soon as I click this button, but other than that, that's pretty convenient. Let's tier 3 this. Better than nothing until we upgrade it properly. I'm still confused as to why the bots are taking so long to put the tier 6 speed modules in here. That's not actually a tier 9, is it? That I. What does the tier 9 look like? Oh, it might be. Oh, no. Don't tell me I accidentally designed this with tier 9s earlier. Oh well, it shouldn't be that different. In fact, it just means things will go a bit slower. Which will be easy for the belts and stuff to handle. Ratios will be about the same. I've been trying to use crafting combinators, but I can't get them to work. Can you go over how to use them? Sure. Uh, so throw down some kind of machine where you need to select the recipe. Uh, point a crafting combinator at the machine, and I believe it has to be a point blank. Let's try it like this. Uh, and then feed it a signal for that recipe. Um, so we're going to go iron gear wheel. That doesn't work. If I move this over here... There it is. Uh, sometimes rotating them around like this can fix a bug. Like, occasionally we get... I think it can only happen once per machine. But we've had a lot of them with the Omni Smelters, because there's so many. Um, occasionally we see some red text floating up above these that says something to the effect of there isn't a overflow chest. But then we just rotate this around and it realizes that there is in fact an overflow chest in the behind left position. Um... So it may have been the case that that little rotation fixed that there. In fact, I'm going to turn this off. If I use pick a dollies, I bet there's something that doesn't update in this. Oh, what the? Okay, now it's, now it's working at range. I didn't think it could do that. Point at, does it need to be in a certain orientation? Yeah, the uh, the bit of the constant combinator or the crafting combinator with the two little prongs on the end where the Y is connected to, uh, consider that to be the front of the combinator and it has to point at the, uh, the machine.
No worries. Uh, one other little thing to watch out for is... I don't think I have one handy right now, but the, um, the recipe combinator. Normally, if you point at a combinator, um, you can see... Let's see, if anything's greater than zero, output one tick. Uh, if you point at it, you can see on the right it says output signals. Um, for some reason, the recipe combinator, it does work. Oh, here we, here we go, I've got some right here. Um, so I'm going to say find ingredients for iron gear wheel, and it should output iron plate. Um, if we look here, we can only see the input signals from the little uh, thing on the right side of the screen, but uh, if we put down a power pole of some kind, or if we feed it to another combinator, you can see that it is actually outputting something. Um, so that actually tricked me up for a little while. Also, I don't know if I'd be able to force a demonstration of this. Um, but sometimes, sometimes the crafting combinators leave behind an entity called crafting combinator blueprint settings. Uh, if they do do this and you want to clean it up, it turns out the easiest way you can do it, uh, which you can do remotely, is just place down a ghost and then delete it on top of where that uh, setting thing was and that'll sort that out. Okay. Uh, so let's just put speed sixes in here. In fact, why don't I... How many is this? It's six speed and... 9 efficiency. Um, so for T6 modules, that's what I want. Okay, cool. Gonna do that, and that, and that. Fantastic. Just update all these modules and make sure they're correct. And then tier 3 modules for everything else in this block. And once we've actually got the, the modules in there, um, We'll mark them to be upgraded to tier 6. Since tier 3 is better than nothing. By a long shot. Alright, so we've still got a whole lot of tier 6 productivity modules to go to fill out all of these blocks. But I think I want to provi uh, prioritize Holmium for now. What's our ratio looking like? For each quarter, slightly positive on Washed Holmanite and Ion Exchange Beads. Uh, slightly negative on Crushed Holmanite. Wait, really? Huh. Not by much. I guess it's not that surprising if I accidentally designed this with um, tier 9 modules. I could put another speed module in there. Might be a good idea, actually. And how much are we getting? 32 Holmium powder per second. Obviously not enough to justify these... Um, needing this extra belt here. Alright, uh, what are you looking for? Tier 3. Let's get the construction spiders over here. 
and I want to put some modules in the oil over here. Let's go for tier 3 oil refinery, fuel refinery in the ground. And I don't remember how many, oh wait, it's all efficiencies except for four speed. Okay, so let's save that preset. Fill these with tier threes. Switch this back to tier six for the beacons. And that should be fine for now. I think I need to get the construction spiders to pay that a visit as well, because I'm not carrying a lot of tier threes these days. I also forgot I wanted to put tier sixes over here. Dexametasin, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Dexametasin. How's your stream today? Factorio? Good game, good game. Uh, are we anywhere near getting some ingots here yet? Apparently not. We have 2.1k here. How much, uh, how much are we making powder-wise? In total, 129 per second. That's not too bad. This big exploit looks greater and greater. Amazing. Thank you. Always Factorio, indeed. Um, I forgot I need to fix this. Uh, I may have missed a cable or something. But our... Oh! This thing. This was for testing purposes. Uh, well, that explains it. Um... We are outputting stone half the time and sand half the time, just so that these inserters, without changing too much, uh, these inserters will output to a train. Um, and apparently the last time I updated this blueprint, I forgot to remove those uh, combinators. I'll do it now, actually. It's not too difficult. So this was holmium powder... One, two, three, four, five. That blueprint should be correct in future. So we're just going to remove this. We'll send the train on its way. We've got systems in place to automatically account for that. And I'm going to deconstruct these filter inserters and then put them back. It's just the easiest way to make sure their hands are empty. Alright, that was easy to fix. Um, we also need to send the construction spiders up this way. Cool. So what do we have here? I need to send the spiders up here for prods as well. Alright, so as soon as they've placed these ones, we'll just check that they've got enough. I think they should. What I also forgot to check is these are all on minimum power consumption, so maybe we could add another speed module and it will correct the currently incorrect ratio. Alright. The next thing I want to upgrade it might be Oh, this is looking empty, actually. Uh, this train just left. This train is picking up... I'm just going to cancel this one. Because I want to... replace this block with a new version. Um, 
I forgot to send the deconstruction spiders back to base. So I'll have to get that to happen a little bit later. What is this? A car? I forgot we had a car. Alright, clean out that old stuff and then head back to one of the malls, please. And I think I should probably get the construction spiders to head over here after... It might be easier in the short term to leave this one be. I'll build a new block to deal with vanilla core fragments down near all of the other core fragment processing areas because they do create... Uh, they do produce vanilla core fragments as a side output. Then again... I don't know, are we just going to end up with trains going both ways sometimes anyway? Well, we might... I thought for a time earlier that we actually needed more of these blocks to deal with vanilla core fragments, but it seems like we're already ahead of it. I think we can remove this one temporarily. That should be fine, actually. All right then. Um, so in that case, once the spiders have placed all of these uh, productivity threes, we'll get them to come over here. Hi T Hacks, enjoyed your SE series. I'm just about to build my first spaceship for crude oil slash petroleum delivery to orbit station. Any suggestion on what to do and not to do on my first ship design? Um, not really, especially for just a shuttle. There's not that much, that there's not a whole lot that you're going to get wrong that you can't fix pretty quickly. I assume you, I, I assume you just mean to go from from the planet to orbit and back, is that right? And if you're just jetting around the solar system, pretty much the same thing applies, as long as you have some solar power and lasers and everything you need to move around. Oil planet? Oh, I see. Is it in the same solar system? Would like to take one last look at the original base while he's still alive, please. Uh, we've already tidied up a bunch of the original base, uh, like an episode or two ago. This was actually some hastily added on train stations to the original base right here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, in the same system, love your small cargo shuttles, feel they are sufficient size. Um, these small shuttles use almost all of their fuel to take off from Nalvis. I would definitely recommend... well, let's see. What, what am I personally doing here, I wonder? Uh, my personal shuttle, like the first ship that I built, has eight, um, booster tanks. Um, this is more than enough to casually fly around the solar system. Depending, you probably want at least four um, booster tanks if you're if you're jumping off of a planet to take the resources to space. Depending on the size of the planet, of course. It doesn't take a whole lot of fuel to jet around the solar system. Almost all of it is consumed taking off from a planet. 
Although, once you get to interstellar distances, uh, liquid rocket fuel is uh, no good. How to find out how big I can build? Uh, pretty much just keep spamming the integrity check button. So you click on the console, click on start integrity check, um, and I would probably pro just sort of start with some arbitrary size and then see what it looks like. And then add, like, I, th I think you get, uh, it's either half a container, uh, half a container stress per stack or two container stress per stack for chests. What do we have here? Well, I can't just calculate it because the liquid rocket boosters are a bit different. Good point on fuel capacity for takeoff. Yeah, it's almost all for takeoff, unless you're going from orbit to somewhere else. And I, I'm pretty sure you just can't use ion for takeoff. Alright, we got our prods. Looks like it. What's our rate with our current modules? Now, we won't necessarily expect this block to do everything all at once, but... We're actually slightly net negative on the solid fuel and the light oil, and significantly on the heavy if we're cracking it. Um, and petroleum, that's probably fine. 74 plastic per second. Uh, only 2.2 explosives? What? What? Uh, oh, hold on. Something is very wrong with this beacon right here. I'm glad I checked all that. So why are these pumps not... I think the spiders don't have the pumps. I'll go place those. Um, yeah, I think I see what happened here. So this one's correct. Six tier six modules and nine efficiencies. But then, somehow upgrading to this one, we ended up with, like, just nothing but efficiency modules. I wonder if it's because the spiders don't have the speed modules on them. Ion only for space takeoff, indeed. Noxyway Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, uh, okay. So... Plastic, 74 per second. We're probably looking at 6.2-ish, more like 6, or 6.1 solid rocket fuel per second. Liquid rocket fuel... Uh, 300 per second. Yeah, so this block actually produces uh, just about everything from oil. We've got plastic, rocket fuel, light, heavy, and petroleum, lubricant, liquid rocket fuel, and uh, sulfuric acid, all available for pickup from the one location. Um, and I discovered this little trick that I can do to get another bit of rail going to the roundabout. I'm surprised I didn't, didn't think of this sooner. This is, this is a very clean connection right here, as opposed to doing this, which, uh, requires us to put more signals in. I want to avoid, uh, having to make exceptions to the signaling. For the, uh, for the rail blocks. Uh, 
Um, obviously, this would consume a ridiculous amount of water compared to what a train can offer. So if we can, uh, we're pumping it in directly. First ship, better practice it between Nalvis and Orbit first. Oh yeah, by all means. Just sort of increment um, where you're going with it. Uh, let's check our rates now. Uh, so... Slightly net negative on solid fuel, so we're probably looking at like 6.1 solid rocket fuel. Oh, and that's... Oh no, net rate 1.2 if we're spending it all on liquid rocket fuel, so that's good. Uh, very slightly negative on light oil. We're going to bottleneck on fluids eventually, if we're doing everything all at once. We're only 35 coal per second. 14 explosives per second. It's okay, I guess. 310 sulfuric acid. How fast were we making explosives before? Oh, this is going to be a lot slower. 6.2. So we've actually doubled it. And that's with the tier 3 productivities. What about solid rocket fuel? 9.9 .9 per second? We, we spent a lot more space on it, though. Yeah. I definitely want to copy-paste this across a few times. And tear down some of the old machines. That said, let's get our... Uh, let's get our new pulverizer set up. Okay. Um, meanwhile, in orbit, how many computers do we have? Computer. Supercomputer. 117. Fantastic. I might get the space constructotrons to just carry the tier 2 computers from now on. Uh, what? I think I have to go here first. Space constructotron. Computer. And we're going to change that to Quantum Supercomputer. Is this one actually bigger? Oh, I already put this here. Okay. Let's put this here. That's going to be zero. That's going to be one stack. Making neural supercomputers erg expensive? I can imagine. Alright, space constructotron. Actually, let's move you here where I can see you first. I can't wait till I get to the point where I've gotten rid of all the cargo rockets and we can recycle all the uh, space capsules. I might keep a couple of cargo rockets, like, um, we can maybe keep this block so we can easily configure them. Um, because cargo rockets do have one massive advantage over spaceships, which is once you're ready to launch, they get to their destination pretty much instantly. No matter how far away it is. Um, but yeah, let's update these guys. Space. 90% return of blank data cards from junk data cards is awesome. I bet. Significantly reducing the amount you have to produce. Okay. Let's put them back into the mod. How 
many computers did we produce already? To build this block, we need 64. And we've made 58. That is painfully close. Let's have another look and just make sure this whole thing hasn't jammed. We're we'll trying... Okay, we've definitely got the quantum processors that we need. Um, which is waiting on some blue circuits of all things. I guess that's not surprising. I think I actually patched it so that all of our blue circuits... Okay, not these ones. Wait, yes, even these ones. All of our blue circuits are being made with Holmium cable, and we weren't producing enough of that for a while. Uh, we may still not be producing enough, or maybe we're catching up. Hello? Is space being ex uh, expired? I hope not. Tumbling satellite, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Explored, indeed. Uh, let's pick... I'm not too worried about that little bit of crude oil. Let's pick all of this stuff up and no doubt end up with over full um, storage in our spiders and see what happens with that. That should be a chain signal. Well, technically it doesn't matter. Wow, can't type? It happens. Let's go with that. Uh, is it my imagination, or does placing signals happen faster now? Like, let's see how long this takes. Actually, I'll do it myself. Okay, we can still feel it when a signal, a single signal is placed, but... Maybe it's my imagination, but I think they might have optimized it better. Okay, that's not what I was looking for, but that'll actually work out just fine. How much is this? You're looking for 16k barrel. You've got 16k barrel. Negative 16,001. Oh, I put the wrong thing. Or fragment. I'm surprised I didn't have this uh, signal in there before. I have to rethink the robot attrition mod that came with SE. Um, if you have a network, you can have as many as you want on a separate uh, surface. Um, but if you have a robot network that only has 50 logistic bots, it actually doesn't do the... Um, uh, it actually doesn't have robot attrition at all. So, which sometimes that's enough. Uh, where, what am I doing? I'm looking for the deconstruction spiders. Which seem to be having trouble getting emptied? I hope not. Nope, they're definitely struggling. Uh, let's bring them over here. We don't have full storage here. I can see a couple of chests that are completely empty. Fifty is nothing. How many do you have? Uh, depends on the network, but usually I'll either go for strictly fifty, or I'll go for keep adding bots until we've always got available bots. Um, 
So yeah, in this robot network, we've got 3,000 logistic bots and 1,300 construction bots, oddly enough. Okay. Uh, I kinda... I kind of need the deconstruction spiders over here to finish this build, at least physically. I can mark this stuff for deconstruction and... Well, actually, if I just extend this robo network out here, um, we could probably get it done that way. The station already has a trash system that's going to take away anything that's not supposed to be here. Okay. Uh, so I think we can... Have a bunch of confused bots hovering. Okay, cool. Uh, let's drop our new vanilla core fragment processing block. The robo ports are in the way of more than a couple of things. It's fine, I'll just place the blueprint down after we finish building it again. And I might just um, make sure we don't actually start using it yet. Oh, the bots are very upset. Okay, why don't we check in on orbit and give this a minute. Um, I'll just see if the deconstruction spiders have been emptied. Not yet, it's still happening. Is it going to take long? I would really like to get them in motion again. It's, it's going to take a minute. Alright, let's check in on orbit. Uh, do we have enough computers now? Quantum supercomputer. We've still built exactly 59. That's a little bit upsetting. We're, we're five computers short um, from filling out this block. But I guess I'll stop waiting on it for now. Send them back down here. And then we can set the recipes on most of these. We can also do a side-by-side -side comparison of the uh, speed for these things. Alright, have I updated this yet? Yes. Let's check the recipe. Uh, Significant data blank. That's right. I wanted to check what the ratio, what the speed was going to look like. Before I build the belts. We've got tons of space to do it anyway. Um... I did switch these on already. Oh, wait, what? Comprehensive. We've got some material insight. It seems the wire got destroyed by copy paste or something. And this one. Seems good. Let's check So we've got the same problem here. Doesn't look like it. 
So the only insight we've got already is material. Um, oddly enough. We'll be wanting to dismantle um, all of these old blocks and salvaging the insight from there. It's going to be a little bit of a nuisance. I can at least switch them off for now. Uh, so that's bio, energy, uh, astronomical, oh, and don't forget the insights over, not insights, catalogs over here. Didn't do it yet for bio, energy, and then material. Oh wait, we did do it for bio. I was thinking of material. Okay. Material. Whoa, this game is not Factorio anymore? I think it's Factorio. This is Factorio plus 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 plus. Uh, Dangan? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Tacos Minican. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. And uh, also Morton. Welcome, welcome. Just started making significant data cards with the universal simulation recipe and neural supercomputers to keep number of machines down. And now it's jammed up. I have to do too many blank cards and some machines can't unload them. That's kind of a good problem to have. And thank you for the follow, Dangan and Taco. Takos Min Iken. Alright, where's our spiders? Oh, they're here already. What? What? Why haven't they... I think they're still carrying the old supercomputers, and we didn't update, like, trash unrequested items. Maybe? I'm not sure. They should have picked up the computers already. Well, we're gonna have to wait them, wait for them to go back there before we can, uh, swap their quests around again. On the plus side, we'll have the uh, mechanical insight data already. Seems we're having no trouble at all with mechanical and everything else is uh, not so happy. We're not getting comprehensive catalog for anything else here just yet. Oh wow, the spiders up the spiders bots are still upset. Oh no. Okay. Uh let's get the deconstructors over here if it's not too late for them to help. And if it is, we'll get them to pick up the remainders of this old uh, solar field. Which I got them to walk through before, but uh, they left some oddly specific... Uh, well, not exactly specific, it's kind of a random, display, a, a random distribution of um, solar panels and accumulators they didn't pick up. Okay. Look at all this space we've opened up. I can't wait until we've completely uh, dismantled the old main bus base as well. D 
did we remove the stations already? I think we did. Which means as long as we don't Let me just make a deconstruction planner with uh, power poles, big and small, but no, not as big as uh, pylons, and roboports, and we're going to blacklist all that, and then hopefully... Uh, hopefully deconstructing all this is not going to cause some problems. We don't want to dismantle the storage chests either. Probably should have included rail in that. Let's do that. Okay. So we can... Let's also include uh, storage chests. That should be fine. Alright. Deconstruction. Let's also include signals. Okay. Maybe this time? Deconstruction planner go burr. And we'll see how much they can dismantle while we're not watching. Are the spiders full? The spiders are full. Okay. Let's send them back to the mall, I guess. Um, in that case, I might send myself back as well. What happened to my... What? What? Where did my... Where did my everything go? Please don't tell me... I applied, like, one of these to my own requests. I think I gave myself the uh, Space Constructor-tron uh, preset. Goodbye base, we will remember you serve faithfully. Indeed. Uh, I don't have a remote, I have to walk around manually now. Oh no. Well, all of that stuff should be getting ferried back to the old mall. Not the old mall, the current mall. I could use the nav set to give myself a remote. Um, there we go. Now I don't have to hold down the button the whole time to get back there. Okay. Um, what should we... do here. Let's get our spiders updated yet again. Space Constructor Tron. Space Constructor Tron. Um, and we'll just check here. That seems fine. Okay. Wait, they didn't empty everything. Okay, remove everything, trash unrequested. Remove everything, trash unrequested. Make room. I really need to start splitting their requests into separate groups. There's just too much um, that they have to carry. Well, it's not so much there's too much they have to carry as it is... The, s the stacks get split sometimes. Uh, it doesn't auto-sort. And that's a pretty big problem, actually. We'll send them to the middle of the storage blocks here. 
so the bots can unload them quicker. Yeah, they still haven't unloaded the uh, vanilla supercomputers. Well, that's going to take a minute as well. Alright, what should we be doing here? Did I get my stuff back? Um... The Spidertron remotes seem to be a bit AWOL. They might be on their way back by train. Is that it? Why is it so dark? Yeah, I've got two of these Spidertron remotes. I think the others are just on their way. They might be in here, for example, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, I see him. Here they come. Alright, I'm glad we got that sorted out without too much uh, difficulty. Uh, meanwhile, our bots are very... Very slowly crawling back to the construction spiders. Um, it's going to be a minute before we can really use them again. Let's have the deconstructors pick up this old mess. Hopefully they'll actually finish the job this time. And what's this? Oh, this was a complicated circuit that I was trying to design. I think I... Oh, I remember what this was. We were trying to get, like, the, uh, the minimum or the maximum of a bunch of signals. NG designed a good one to do the maximum, but I think the minimum was weirdly a lot more difficult. I actually recognize this thing. I'm pretty sure this is my, um, uh, where is it? Memory overwrite cell. This is the compact version of that. Yep. So this thing I was using as part of a bigger circuit. Uh, it's basically a memory cell that gets overwritten every time you send it a new value. Although you have to wait three ticks between uh, each write. Oh, that is a long stream of bots. Well, it's taking a surprisingly long time to get this one block built. But what are you going to do? Seems like we can remove these roboports already. Which means we can put down our blueprint, not have to remember to fix it later on. Let's check on orbit. The spiders seem to have... What? I could have sworn I set all of these to be emptied. Maybe I missed one. So the leader is empty. Still has ammo for some reason. 
Why would it have media defense installation ammo of all things? Remove trash unrequested items. Uh, media defense installation ammo. I don't know where this is going to be. Okay. Um, if I set it to space constructor tron and crap, uh, trash unrequested, is it gonna... It's not. Let's just add it one by one. Uh, space constructor tron, meteor defense. Uh, let's set that to zero. Do not click apply changes. That applies it to the character, the, the player character. Save that preset. And then... Okay, cool. What about the rest of them? I think there's like one spider that is carrying a bunch of stuff. We need to remove lasers, walls, walls, and walls. 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 I thought the point of trash unrequested items was so we didn't have to do this, but... What can you do? It works for the most part, at least. update that uh, preset. Find the one that had the... walls? Is it this one? Yep. Any other weird exceptions we've got here? This could be just about anything. It's got supercomputers in it. It shouldn't have supercomputers. I'm pretty sure. I must have edited my own thing or something. When I did this earlier, I must have saved it to myself, that's why. Okay, so this one's going to become zero. And this one's going to be one stack. And we're going to save it to the Space Constructor Trunk preset. And copy that to all the light blue ones. And this one. Alright, hopefully... Hopefully that'll cover it. Okay. Once the butt cloud is cleared. I don't suppose we've produced any more um, quantum supercomputers in the meantime? 65. Fantastic. Well, at least we'll be able to update this block here in one go. How are our construction spiders looking? We've still got like a kilometre left of bots coming back. I don't suppose we've got any coal on the way back yet. Uh, Deadwood. Deadwood 1. Deadwood 1 is still... Wait, really? How much do we need? Uh, 48,000. Divided by 90-ish? Is only 9 minutes. 
we should already have a Deadwood shuttle on its way back, but apparently not. We've got multiple... I see Deadwood 6. I think we've got all of them uh, hanging around... This one's at Nalvis. What are you doing? What? What? Hold on, this one's full. Oh, it is waiting at Nalvis. Okay, that's great, actually. We must have got Deadwood number one. Got their second, somehow. Okay. So we need to make... Uh... I thought I already set this one up. 2002. Core Fragment Coal. I think I named this Core Fragment Coal, yes. Uh, maybe I just forgot to change the Combinator. Deadwood 2. Yeah, this needs to say 2002 to 2002. There we go. Alright, so I should grab the blueprint for these guys. Update like so. Except remove those, and those, and this, and these. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's our blueprint for the Deadwood space truck. Uh, but more importantly, it's just this combinator that we needed to update, I think. Uh, so let's copy-paste that. This is Deadwood 2, number 1, number 3. Do not put it on the wrong one. Oh, wait, we... I think I updated the one for... when it goes to Deadwood, but not for the one for when it comes back to Nalvis. Okay, so this is number three. Let's go to number four. 2002, 2002, 2001. 2001. Well, there's your problem. Um, and this one was number four. Deadwood five. And Deadwood six. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so that's our whole core fragments uh, placed into the network. This thing should be wanting to take off, but not enough fuel yet. Yes. Uh, we need to make a block to deal with coal core fragments quite soon. The bot train is finally coming into the station. All right. I think I'll bump up the priority on uh, finishing or rather, building the whole core fragment block. Um, rather than traveling all the way up to the old block here first. I think we'll put this one here. The train will have a nice short trip going from here to here. And 
switch these back on. There's no uh, coal core fragment planets in the solar system, so we can remove all of this stuff. stuff. Also this. And we don't need this either. Okay. Construction spiders should just about be ready. Something is very wrong here. Let's remove everything. Trash unrequested. And... Set that back. Space spiders should be ready. I think. Fantastic. Let's bring them down here. And we can finally, finally place our first uh, 64 quantum supercomputers. Let's head over to the new block. Um, I think the construction spiders are actually ready now. Hello there. Oni Vinny. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's our blue circuits looking? We're still bottlenecking on Holmium Cable. How's our new build? Uh, nothing is happening. Products finished. Zero. We still haven't got a trainload of Holmium ingot for any of these one... For any, any one of these uh, Omni smelters. That's what actually needs to happen. Uh, we've been producing, like, a decent amount of it, I think. But as it is, it won't trigger deliveries. Thank you for the follow, Studio Magubd and uh, Morton. Uh, what I could do, actually no, I I could like force an earlier delivery of Holmium ingots, but. Um, how much does it take? 10. So the stack size of powder, I think, is 50. It takes two stacks... Uh, sorry, it takes, um, one stack to make five ingots. And... It's 10 to 1. It takes 10 trips from the trains picking up powder to get one train load of, uh, Holmium ingots. Well then. Four point eight k and climbing. Slow construction spiders are slow. Here we go, quantum supercomputers. Uh, can they still only fit two modules? Universals. They can fit four modules. That alone is a pretty good improvement. Uh, how fast are they? Well, I should just compare them over here, right? Crafting speed 1, crafting speed 2. More than double the power. Pollution is the same, not that it matters. Um, 
and I think we also get some better... Yeah, we get more efficient data card recycling. We need a different temperature of input fluid for that, but we also get the same output fluid. So it's only going to be a little bit of a pain to update the junk data card processing area. Um, although we actually didn't build this with beacons the first time because we didn't have them. But it should be very easy to add some, at least up here. Not so much down here. Um, there's not a whole lot of throughput here, at least right now. So we could probably... We could probably deconstruct this at some point, when it's empty. Anyway, uh, let's focus on uh, putting some speed modules in here. We need... Actually, let's make it tier 6 from the beginning. It's easy. We've got an easy logistical chain to get tier sixes into this place. Okay. Um. What? Why are we carrying? Tier 6 speed, but no efficiencies. Well, you know what? I want to see what it looks like with nothing but speed first, anyway. And I'm not just saying that because we've only got speeds available here right now. I would never. I think I did something wrong. Quantum computer... Speed six. What? Okay. What? Why didn't this? Huh? What? Quantum computer speed module six. Speed module six. Why is module inserter not working right now? Quantum supercomputer. Did I do the wrong... No? Quantum supercomputer. Speed module 6. Did I have to... Click apply changes. Okay. Rip. There we go. So how fast is this going to be? Are we going to have any belt problems if I do this? If so, I'll just put in some efficiency modules. And if the power consumption is ludicrous, I'll do that as well. 60 megawatt each times 64. Uh, 3.8 gigawatts. And we've got 72 gigawatts available. I don't think we need to worry about efficiency here. But we'll use them if the belts would be too slow. Uh, 30 blank data card per second, 11.3 significant, so we're still... We're still under 45 per second. And we're still well below half a belt of each type of insight. Um, way below half a belt for each type of insight if we look at just one column for each uh, wait, where are we bottlenecking this? we're only getting half a belt for each resource until I change these belts on each side 
And it turns out half a belt is just enough. Uh, blank data cards... Uh, blank data cards are the output. So we're getting 83... A bit less than two belts on each side. Okay, so for the whole block... So the inputs are fine. Uh, for the whole block, we're getting just under three belts of blank data cards. And more than one belt of significant data. So let's scrap what we've got so far. Since it might just confuse me. Probably leave these pipes in place. We need two belts for the significant data. First, we need to filter the outputs. Um, I think we'll do it like this. Maybe this one will be a little bit different. Uh, blank on the left. And I'm just going to be a little bit lazy and use a four belt balancer for the blank data cards. Because splitters being what they are, it's more like natural. I was going to run this belt across here to be lazy. But we actually need to make sure we avoid the, uh... Well, no. I'm going to just turn these. For starters. Easier to do the initial design if we just draw the belts. Um, so significant data goes here. We're going to have... One belt of output from each side for that. I guess this goes here, perhaps. Um, we might have to move this belt a bit. Uh, this pipe, rather. And I want to use the 90 degree... Four to four balancer. I might just draw out the significant data output first and then decide where the other stuff is going. So that's one belt. Maybe bring this down a tile. this bit consistent and make things easier. Or at least move that over one tile to the right. Oh, I forgot we need two belts here. Um... But we need one of these to merge like so, and we need this one, something like this. I guess, actually, since we only have uh, one whole belt from each side, and even if we upgrade the uh, speed modules later, I think it's going to be less than 45 per second. Uh, we can probably just merge those without a splitter. Uh, I'll put this over here. And 
do it this way. That's not quite going to line up the way I would like it to. Okay, so let's say we bring this down like so. And... We could actually bring the other one down this way. Or even bring it over from here. Might be better. Actually, no, it's, uh, it would be better if we merge and split them. So I'll bring that down here, give it a splitter. What have we saved? Two whole splitters. Can't reach across that. And this is going to go... And as for blank data cards, hmm, I could bring this down a bit more at first. One, two. Oh, no, let's just say we put it there. together pretty well. If I move this over one tile to the right, we could not fit this more snugly. Yes, we could. This goes up here. Okay. I know it doesn't. I know it's really unnecessary, but... Oh, it's extra unnecessary in this case, because we're not merging something in this way. Rip. Um, but I think we can put this up here. This can actually go out this way. Uh, what is this belt? Oh, I see. Of course. Alright, so one, two, three, uh, three and four. Is there a better place to squeeze this through? I think there is. I think I like this better. That's better. Okay. If I don't think this belt is required. Uh, we do need to make room for... Now, 4 to 4 balancer. 
Preferably the corner one. Oh, we can just fit that here. Should be fine. Should be pretty easy, actually. Might just need a bit more underground than I would like here. I don't suppose I could move this down a tile? Nope. That looks a little tacky. I can live with it. Uh, so... This goes here. This goes here. And so on. How many data cards are we outputting again? Like, 30? Oh. 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 No, no, no. No, no. It was like 30 per belt. Um, yeah. I think we should probably have a full-size pickup for this. But then it's going to be hard to... Well, we're just going to have to do our output pipe a bit different. Alright, let's go with... We're going to need stack inserters to input this stuff. And we'll bring that over a little bit. I will remove this for now. Hopefully we can come up with a cleaner build this way. to fit perfectly at least. But unfortunately the underground pipe would just barely not reach across this. Um, I could make an exception up here and have this go... there's actually nowhere. Or I could have this go out to the side. That might be the better option. I think it is. Five plus six. Eleven. I don't think... I don't think we can do better than five, three, and three for that. How long is this? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve tiles? Yeah, that's definitely an improvement. Right, so we got some undergrounds, like so. And... That one doesn't fit quite the same way. In fact, that just kind of looks weird. Let's just do this. Oh, and we need our output fluid to find its way to these tanks. Um... I think they're just going to go... That's not going to work. 
tree here maybe. Close enough. Alright. Um, so apart from the fact that we still don't have anything but material insight here, for some reason. Why is that? Um, no comprehensive, no comprehensive, no comprehensive. That is the hardest one to make, but still. We did request them, right? Yeah. Of course we did. Alright, so we're going to have to investigate why each of these sciences is stopped or slow. Also, is this still stuck? It is... I was gonna say it's not. This side is still looking good, but this one actually got stuck again. Hmm. What's the difference? Literally just a couple of bits of belt, perhaps? Have fun, gotta go do some shopping, but we'll catch the rest of the stream later. Take care, Morton. Oh, that was a minute ago. My bad. We have a train coming in here. Is it able to get there? Yes, it is. Otherwise, we wouldn't have this output here at all. Okay, what's going on on Nalvis? We've got our spiders here. Fantastic. We need to do coal core fragment processing. Uh, 16 seconds, 5, 10, 1. 16 seconds, 5, 10, 1. Okay, it follows the exact same formula as most of the... Um, most of the core fragments. So all we have to do is edit some of these uh, settings and signals. Crude oil, core fragment. There we go. Let's update this one. Actually, quickly need to change this before a train comes. There we go. Or fragment coal. And coal fragment coal. Train is on the way. So this is going to be coal. And this is going to be stone and regular coal fragments. Oh, and I need to change the filter on this. Otherwise, we'll end up without coal over here. Actually, I should just double check the wiring is correct on the stations. Because copy-pasting with uh, LTN stations has a terrible habit of not including the wire connections. But it looks like it's all fine. Oh, we are missing some wires up here. There we go. Uh, so I'm missing like 9, 10, 11, 12 productivity modules uh, for this place, but I think I would rather just slow it down. We're probably not going to bottleneck here. 
Um, we'll finish that later on. And let's head over to upgrading this build. Which we were trying to do quite a while ago, actually. What is taking the train so long? Oh, here it comes. Fantastic. So, just to check again, our cold throughput in the last hour is 9.3... 9.3k per second, but we're consuming 7.6k. This one's 11k to 11k, 10 hours. So it, that says we're consuming all of it. I... I don't... There's a tiny bit of coal in storage. Maybe... Maybe we're very slowly catching up. I seriously doubt it. Since we started making... Uh, Explosive resistance data. And maybe as soon as we get testing packs blowing more consistently, we're going to run out of coal again. Okay. But, oh, I left. My spider left without me again. Because I forgot to jump in it. Rip. So, how much cold is this? Uh, 87 per second. Not bad. Per minute, 5k. I think... I think our coal fragment core planet... Uh, our coal core fragment planet is, uh... Gonna be enough. We may need more spaceships to keep up with it. We may not. What's this one doing? It's waiting at Deadwood. Because we're still filling this one up. Uh, what? Why do we have no power? What? Why do we have no power? We have nuclear fuel. We have steam here. I think the system that I built to decide when to put more nuclear fuel in uh, doesn't necessarily work so well. Just throwing in some storage tanks here to measure the amount of steam we have. Not actually that effective. 21.4 megawatt. It makes it look like we've got tons of power available. But that's not how this is going. Wait, is something disconnected? It is! Oh, wow. Okay. Do you still have fuel? You do, but... I think the core miners were running off of the spaceship alone. Oh my god. That's... that That's a problem. Holmium accumulator is charging. And once it gets to 5 megajoules, we should see the core mining drills go again. If we continue to charge while the coal mining drills are in motion, that's extremely good. Yeah. Oh, and that's while the uh, media defense installations are charging as well. Okay. 
glad I checked on that one. Uh, this is why you inspect things and make sure they're working. Cool. So maybe the, uh... Maybe the fuel management system is not actually a problem here. Considering that all of these are above... Are well above 500 degrees still. Um... And we've got more than enough heat to run a lot of these heat exchanges. Yeah, I think that is actually working just fine. And it took no time for this thing to ramp up. Okay, well that actually tells us that we are indeed getting... Uh, 88.962 pole core fragments per second. Uh, here we can consume, like, double that. So, how much is this? 90 per second? I can actually get rid of... Uh-oh. I, I want to... No path. Oh, because we didn't finish this rail block. Okay, uh, why don't you just go to the one of those that you do have a path to. I'm going to switch off this station, and I can get rid of these, because it just so happens we've got like a near-perfect ratio for this to consume all of the uh, coal core fragments that we're producing. And we can very easily upgrade that in the future if we need to. I'll leave the belts. Fantastic. Okay, let's head back up here to our new build. Um, I need to give it the speed modules. Other than that, I think we can just go for tier... Oh, wait. Uh, we'll just go for tier threes for now. Without changing. Oh, hold on. The spiders are doing the dance where they're not building something because someone's in the way. There we go. Temporary tier threes in all of these machines, please. What's the rate going to look like? I wonder. I guess it's going to be faster because the Lower tier productivities don't slow things down as much. Yeah. But I think we should still have enough uh, belt throughput. Productivity... Oh. The spiders aren't... Wait, what? Why were the construction spiders not dropping prod threes? Also, I need a few um, electric boilers here. We rarely have to place those, so I didn't have the spiders carrying them. This is looking for... let me guess, those are speed nines, actually. Six and uh, let's see. Each half block gives us just over one belt of each three of these resources and fifty-four. Is this going to be too fast? Uh, no, I don't think so. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight belts going to these train stations. And we've got like one, two, three, four, and a bit. Call it five. Yeah, we've got plenty of belt throughput here. 
Let's turn this on. Oh, it is switched on already. That's weird. A fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just tuned in. Did you sort out the loading of all resources? Uh, do you mean like for the shuttle spam? I haven't loaded everything yet, no. I've been adding them one thing at a time. What is... wait, what? Oh, this just has a... This has a very, very generic station name. Actually, why is it green? It should just be blue. I'm gonna switch this off. Train limit one. As soon as the train gets here... Um... I'll change the station name. Is there something like Dyson Sphere? No, sorry, in the new core mining blocks. Hold on. Uh, I don't think you can build anything like a Dyson Sphere in this space exploration, if that's what you mean, Dengen. No, sorry, in the new core mining blocks from the issues you had in Discord about filter inserter limitations. Yeah, so I've got uh five of the six physical outputs going to uh these ones and then because uranium is very 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 slow uh in fact we're only looking at less than one uranium ore per second out of all of this um we're just sending the uranium over to our just four chests in the middle um, this station right here. Thanks for the stream. Take care, Whiskers. Thanks for hanging out. Did we get our train here yet? No, it's picking up core fragments. I only found out today as well that filters have six slots and stack filters only one. Five slots, yeah. Um, it forces some decision-making sometimes. Or sometimes, like, instead of having a blacklist, you need to do some circuitry so you can do a whitelist um, with a stat filter inserter. Uh, okay, so I can update this station name at least. Let's start by making it blue. And... I do actually want to keep this combinator. Right priority was going to be higher because we've got higher tier modules here. I do have some. Let's put them in. Um, module inserter. Tier 6 modules. There we go. I just realized I could have done that in one rectangle. Uh, let me just make a note here. And is that train still not here? Here it comes. I'll just update the station as soon as the name doesn't matter. Too close to rail signal. No. Oh, I still forgot to update this. Okay. Uh, core fragment and... Why is there fluid here? Wait, what? Oh, I was thinking about having a water output here. Um, but I ended up deciding against it and just putting in a few... Wait, that's heavy oil. Hold up. Are both of these heavy oil? 390... This isn't... Uh... I could just... make all of them... use both of those. Oh, that's why it was green. I am a derp. 
Yeah, because we're requesting this and providing heavy oil, and it's a high priority to get rid of the heavy oil. Um, here it is. Here's the heavy oil connection. Okay. I am a duck. Let's put this name as this thing requester, uh, provider, this thing requester. Purple chest means we're trying to get rid of it desperately. Okay, that makes sense. Um, but we do need, if this is ever to go at full speed, we're going to need more um, electric boilers as well. So how fast can this go compared to our other blocks? Um, we have 48 machines. And if all of them have the correct modules, one hundred and sixty three core fragments per second compared to less than about half of that, actually, for way fewer machines. Well, that's going to be a little boon to UPS once I finish replacing the old ones. I need to spam more modules. I really, I really want to go through everything and upgrade and replace stuff. What are we struggling on here? Green circuits now. It's not actually blues. Uh... I don't believe we've made a tier 2 beacon build for green circuits yet. It was actually really challenging fitting this together properly for the maximum throughput with uh, regular beacons. I guess we could probably make some green circuits. We need copper and stone. I'm guessing copper and stone. Copper and stone. Copper and stone. I don't think we're going to have any trouble with supply at the moment. We just need more machines making green circuits. Um, and I did make a little something uh, to put stone tablets into the rail network. Although I don't know if we'll be using them. Um... Because I made a build... Here it is. I did a little copy-paste edit and made a build that makes uh, heat shielding with the alternate recipe. And then I realized I didn't leave room... Uh, to make the stone tablets. So I made those here. But... It's obviously a lot more stack-dense if we bring... Uh, if we bring in stone bricks with the train. So we probably will still do that on the spot. Uh, but yeah, it is high time we designed a new block for green circuits. Only trouble is, without using editor extensions, I can't exactly... It's a bit of a problem to calculate, to use the rate calculator for tier 6 modules that I don't have. Why is this machine inactive? Because it's full. Wait, what? Oh. Are we just not sending green circuits to space fast enough? I should still redesign this, if only to save UPS. Um, we've got at least a couple of blocks like that. Three, actually. Um, but I might do that off stream so we can make more progress. Why on earth would we be not getting green circuits fast enough? Shuttles. What? How? How? How do we... 
And how do you fuck that up? What? It's literally just... It's literally just a request a chest asking for green circuits. I think this must have gone to the depot with iron plate earlier when I dismissed the trains that were here. And then somehow it went on... Somehow it left the depot with iron plate in it. I'm pretty sure I double-checked all of these, since we had problems on Nalvis, to make sure that it will out uh, get rid of all the uh, items. Maybe it reached five seconds of inactivity, even though there was stuff still in there? Okay, well, we found out why green, uh, green circuits and therefore modules stopped flowing um, in orbit, even though it turns out we've got green circuits everywhere. Let's go three trains. I love how it kind of looks like a spray of green circuits. Yeah, that is a lot of circuits that we have that weren't in motion. Um, see, I want to just send these guys back to the depot to get this tidied up, but I get the feeling if I send them too close together they're going to get stuck somehow, like if this belt is... I don't know. It shouldn't be a problem. There's more than enough storage here for a full train. Let's actually watch it go back to the depot. And after that, I think I will take a short break. Look at those bots go. Also, I think I noticed earlier... Oh, this one's on nuclear fuel. Fantastic. I did not play around SpaceX too much, nor did I do my research. Is it similar to Dyson Sphere program where you basically expand to different planets and use their resources to beam back to main factory? Uh, kind of, in the sense that you will have to go to other planets to get certain exotic resources to progress, absolutely. Oh, hello. Why is this full? Wait, 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 stop, 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 stop. Uh, this isn't full. So why... What is going on here? What? First of all, if this isn't actually full, why... Oh, this is empty. I see. Okay. So this is full, therefore this isn't getting emptied. And neither is this one in the future. Okay, why is the trash train not coming? If anything greater than zero, output L1. Set train limit L. Enable train limit. The station doesn't have a name. Okay, I'm going to have to... Don't tell me I ended up copy-pasting that when I fixed a different problem. And why is there a train heading for this one? There isn't. Okay, trash pickup. How many other depots do we have? We've got one, two, I think five. One, two, three, four. This one's for short trains, but I should check the station name anyway. 
Trash pickup. Trash pickup. And trash pickup. Are there any more depots that I haven't patched? One, two, three, four. I think that's it. Derp gone. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I see. Sounds fun. I am waiting for my friends to come back from work so we can jump in. They are still learning the basics, so we got to start easy. Um, I mean, it does... It does ramp up into the more complex stuff just as smoothly as Vanilla Factorio does. So that might be fine, actually. Do be prepared for a long playthrough with space exploration. And personally, I, I would recommend things like not having biters on the starting planet um, and giving yourself more resources there because it's just going to take longer to get going otherwise. Alright, so there's our green circuits. Um, this thing is still... St well, this side of it is still stuck and I haven't fixed it. Hmm. Maybe I should put a chest or something. That would definitely do it. Meanwhile, on Nalvis... Oh, I didn't add a icon for this. Or fragment coal. Right about there. Fantastic. So theoretically, we'll be getting like 87 or slightly less. 86 point something coal per second if the spaceships can keep up with Deadwood. Um, which remains to be seen, because we had a little hiccup here with a lack of a power pole, because I landed the uh, outposter, which is a very similar design to this one, uh, over here, and it actually had the power pole connecting these two. So when it left, I didn't notice that the connection was severed. We should be able to see this in our graph for coal core fragments. Yeah, look at that. We're making a lot more of them right now. So currently 4.8k per minute. Nice. Uh, I also wanted to... Before I take a quick break... Wait, what? This is a new train. Oh, I think I remember. We fixed this, but there were like five trains for each station coming in still. Okay. Let's see where this one goes. And make sure the depot item recycling uh, system is working correctly. We've had a lot of problems with these. I really should have been more careful. And actually, in hindsight, uh, if I'd realized that 50 logistic bots uh, in their own network will never die. I probably just would have used logistic bots for this. Then again, occasionally you have something coming back with a really high volume of stuff, so maybe not. We've still got the same problem here. Um, why hasn't a train come to pick this up yet? 
Okay, so if one trash train is always going there, this one is heading back to the mall right now. This one is going somewhere else. That one's busy. Maybe we need more trash trains. Yeah, we might need more trash trains. Okay. Uh, for now, let's put on the... What am I doing? Uh, the LTN screensaver on Nervous. And I'm going to take a short break. Back in a few minutes or so. Take care.
Okay. Uh, how do I turn this off? There we go. So... I might just leave those iron... Or the, this iron plate train there, at least. Um, until that gets sorted out. I don't want to have to remember I've got these two trains uh, set on manual, though. What can I do about that? Can I force them to go to a different uh, depot, perhaps? That might be a good way to go about it. So we're just going to go here. And here. So they're going to go to this temporary stop and then go to the nearest depot, which is right in front of them. And that's one less thing I have to remember. Fantastic. Excuse me, too slow on the mute button. Okay, so what are we doing next? Uh, we've got... We're waiting on some modules for some more upgrades, but we've got some new blocks built. Uh, Holmium cable, etc. Uh, plate, Holmium plate. Goes here. And cable goes here. We still haven't had a single bit of uh, holmium ingot arrive here yet. Really? How much have we got here? 7.5k, uh, 7.5k, probably about the same for all of these. What does it stack to? 100, I think. So we've got half a train load at all of these stations, um, on average. Well, close to it. About half a train load at each of those stations. Uh, but no individual station has uh, enough holmium ingots to trigger a delivery. And considering the loading system that they have, I don't particularly want to try and force it. On the other hand, we could really use a windfall of Holmium Cable uh, to keep our blue processes going. Processing units, among other things. Hmm... How can I force the delivery from one of these? Uh, Vivil Sonic, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just grab a train from the depot. And I'm gonna bring it down here. And then wait till full cargo. And once it gets there, I'm going to feed it some circuits. Where's my remote? What? I thought all the remotes got put back where they're supposed to be. How, how, how am I short a remote? Well, let's just make one, I guess. Um, I can't handcraft one right now. I need a rocket control unit. 
which I can't handcraft either. Normally I can. I'm not carrying batteries. I should add those uh, to the player preset. What? What the? What? Battery. Where am I going to put this? Here. And exactly one stack. Save it to the player preset. And we can make a Spidertron remote with ease. I could also request the uh, rocket control units that are no doubt sitting here. But this is one fewer step. Oh, I sent the construction spiders down there. That's actually going to work out. So you are looking for... Um, Holmium ingots. I need that to come from this wire right here. Ingot of the Holmium variety. Many ingots. Left side. Uh, so once we pick up all of the Holmium ingots in this place, I'll send the appropriate signals. I'll just manually do the green signal so that we start loading it. The ingots are still coming. Oh, I see. They're coming from different chests, one by one. Okay, is that about all of them? On the way zero, fantastic. Alright, so now we're going to start loading, and I think we can get rid of both of these now. Fantastic. What? No. Uh, that was somewhat silly. Okay. Uh... Stop loading. This thing needs to be... We need to load from these chests into these chests first. And I need to not get rid of this uh, signal, otherwise the filter inserters are going to start dumping what we've got. Okay. So, start loading, get rid of that, and once we're done loading, I'll get rid of this. Oh, they actually stack to 50. So we're much, much, much closer to getting a bunch of deliveries there automatically than I thought. Uh, so now we need to... Uh, send you over here, and then here. Empty cargo. Zero seconds. Remove that. Back to the depot once you're done. And see how this goes. Fantastic. We did it. And there's our first Holmium plate from this new block. So we should be getting... Net positive Holmium plate. 52 Holmium cable per second. 
higher priority to go into the rail network than to make solenoids and that's it what have you been working on today uh guitars welcome welcome hope you're doing well uh let's see i've been upgrading modules in these new builds that we've made we're making holmium powder iridite powder and uh beryllium powder putting that straight into the rail network and then we're letting the omni smelters deal with it as opposed to the old uh system we had where which i've still got by the way i can start getting rid of this now i think uh where we've got all of the steps including smelting uh in the one block it also we're also upgrading to tier 2 beacons and tier 6 modules when we have them for the new build uh also got our whole core fragment planet uh flowing we've got a constant almost 90 whole core fragments per second and we may or may not have the spaceships to keep up with that right now um i think we've got six deadwood four is on its way back to calidus uh i don't see any other deadwoods here oh deadwood one fantastic how long does it take these ships to make that trip? This is like a fifth of the way there or less. We're looking at 24 minutes. So let's say they take half an hour each. They can carry, um, how much? Uh, they can carry 48,000 each. And it takes them half an hour for each trip. So call it a one hour round trip. 48,000. Uh, versus 19 per second. Um... We need we need one of these to pick up every nine minutes or a bit less maybe and it's an hour trip and we've got six ships i think we need like seven or eight ships actually to keep up so let's do that This is the outposter. I won't be shoving that out of the way. Um, is my math correct, by the way? Did anyone notice if it's wrong? Spaceships, space truck, dead wood. I don't have headphones at work, but can someone in chat tell me if he's using mods? Indeed. Started the Nilla Factorio two days ago. Uh, RPG Vendetta, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Guitars, welcome, welcome also. Good to see you again. I heard this one of those games where mods make it way better. Uh, arguably, yes. Although the vanilla game's quite good. There's definitely a few quality of life mods that I would not go without. Whoops. Space truck, dead bird. I forgot to give a name to that one. Wait a sec. I may have also... Uh-oh. I didn't manually tell it to launch. I may have just forgot to switch off this constant combinator right here. 
so it may have launched with minimal fuel. Ricardo. Where are you going? 132? I think that's Deadwood. Yeah, this is Deadwood. We've got almost no liquid rocket fuel. That's fine, except Ion Stream, I think, might actually be low enough. Um... Yeah, Ion Stream might actually be low enough that it's not going to get there. So let's send this back to Nalvis Orbit. This will be a good opportunity to update the uh, blueprint so that this doesn't happen again. So it doesn't really matter if the constant combinator that sends it back to Nalvis if it's full is switched on. Um, but this one needs to be switched off for the blueprint. Let's go to Deadwood Space Truck. Select new contents for blueprint. Drag it down here. Get rid of the space platform scaffolding. And save. How far until antimatter engine? Five minutes. Four minutes and 57 seconds. I just unlocked the ion engines. Are your ion tanks meant to be touching your liquid rocket fuel tanks? Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't think you can put... Like, I don't think you can accidentally have flow through there, but also they're not actually... The pipe connections are not actually touching because the corners are... Uh, like this, it's top left and bottom right, or you can rotate it so it's bottom left and top right. Uh, these ones are actually not touching. I'm guessing if you build them next to each other like this, it's going to say you can't mix fluids, even though it's impossible to put the wrong fluids into the booster tanks. Wait, what are those liquid rocket fuel tanks powering, then? Oh. Um, the liquid rocket fuel tanks themselves apparently have boosters, uh, have like vertical takeoff built into them. You don't actually need a liquid rocket fuel engine uh, to use that to take off. It says, it does mention that here somewhere. VTOL, here it is. You also need a spaceship booster tank and a spaceship rocket engine. The booster tank is what uh, stores the fuel you need to get into space and provides the VTOL component. The rocket engines are for slower burn through space, blah blah blah. Yeah. You won't save a whole lot of space or hull integrity or whatever by, um... Uh... What's the word I'm looking for? By not having rocket engines, but it's not nothing. I should probably request more ion engines here. Let's make it 50. Why not? Sorry, not engines, booster tanks. Just like you, I need, I now need a fleet of hauler ships for Holmanite as well, indeed. Um, and we're just about getting to the point of finishing the stream for today. Finally, we've got that Holmanite cable, and we've probably got a bunch of these ready to deliver. 7.5k, 7.5k. Yeah, as soon as they get one more delivery of Holmanite powder, um, each of these blocks are going to be... Uh, going to be offering Ulmanite ingots. Oh. Wait, what? We actually ran out of Holmanite? That doesn't sound right. Um, but it is. Yeah, we actually were producing Holmanite way faster than we were consuming it with machines. 
Um, but apparently this block turned that on its head faster than expected. Well, that's all you can ever do is shift the bottleneck. Um, where are we getting Holmanite from? I think it's uh, Via Terra. That's actually in the solar system. Oh, and I started using spaceships to pick this up. So we've actually only got eight core miners here. And we've got a decent sized uh, reactor. We can definitely crank this up. Um, I can get rid of all of these... Uh, Delivery cannons. What well, do we even do? We actually have four mining drills here already. I wonder. Yeah, we do. That bot just turned around. How fast are we getting it? Uh. It was something like 90 per second. That's kind of a lot. But I guess we can go further. Sixty-five per second and forty-three. Oh. We need more belts to support that. Okay. I think I'll head over there. That'll be something I do off stream. Um, just moving the belts and deleting these cannons and making room for a lot more core mining drills. Um, but that is just about going to do it for today. I should send these guys back. Pick this old stuff up first. I said pick this old stuff up first, thank you. Uh, let's see who's streaming Factorio. And I'll give someone a raid. We got Mucky. I don't see why not. Let's drop in on Mucky today. Can you show me Universe Explorer and sort by flags? Uh, sure. Sort by flags. Which one is flags? Threat, solar, flags. There we go. Uh, we've actually touched down on... Nineteen planets and or orbits. Wait, why is Deadwood 5... Deadwood 5 is a spaceship, but I see these icons for um, cargo rocket landing pads and silos. That's kind of weird. Nice. Okay, I'm actually running out of time to hit the raid button. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you like, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And uh, let's drop in on Mucky and encourage him to stop swearing. Take care, guys. And we've got stacker systems to pick up the green circuits. We'll run through the, the trade stacker systems in a minute. T-Hacks, man, thank you very much for the raid. That's much appreciated, buddy. That is much appreciated. You've just missed out on us blowing shit up. But you've seen me do that before. And I'm sure you've hey, blown Mucky. up stuff. You're a moron. Hey, Mucky. Oh, you dude. <laughs>